I'm actually running out of upgrades already. Where else are gonna play with the mutated gene so twice as many enemies spawn? Because the more idiots it spawn, the more upgrades we're gonna get. Alrighty, we got a good one. Attack speed increased by 10%. That works with any build. Attacks have a 5% chance to conjure a meteoroid. Maybe it'd be fun to have projectiles today. Your initial attack will fork into two weaker projectiles. We're already firing four at the base, and we have increased attack speed. So that might end up splitting into a lot of extra projectiles that will hopefully crash the game. Wiggling Worms. Enemies have a 10% chance to release up to one worm on death, dealing 3.9 damage to all enemies. I heard a mini boss spawn, but I don't know where he went. We haven't yet seen him. Uh, we're gonna take increased attack speed by 20%. The added damage would also be good because I think that's going to apply to all projectiles. Okay, there is a boss surrounded with a bunch of bodyguards. That's perfectly fine because we'll also drop meteors on his head and that's gonna do a lot of damage. I know this is a legendary, but that's also AoE. We want projectiles today, but we're gonna get your initial attack will pierce one time. The piercing bullets do less damage, but we get more bullets going out. Look, it's already spraying out the backside of them. While well, this wasn't the luckiest of choices, but enemies have a 10% chance to explode on death, dealing 8 damage. And with double the amount of morons out there, they're actually going to chain reaction quite a lot. And this is one of my favorites. Your attacks have a 25% chance to chain up to one time, dealing 6 damage. Lots of different projectiles. Dizzy Ball is good. Hailstorm is good. We're going to get attacks pierce uh, up to 2 times, or they do pierce 2 times. It never hurts to have a little added penetration. Then we're going to get Tree Hugger. Hugging trees has a chance to release a cluster of up to 30 orbs of experience. We can definitely lean on that. All you have to do is sit here now and we're slowly going to get experience from the trees and if we get that upgraded it will also give us items, potentially lots of them. Just a little slime hiding in the trees. Look at this. I'm actually going to take idle hands. That's going to take us from 4 to 5 bullets but if my mental math is correct that should be about 400 damage output for every shot either way. We just get an extra projectile now. But those all pierce and have a chance to launch further projectiles. So I think that's going to work in our favor. We're going to have all of our projectiles shooting more projectiles. Those in turn will also shoot more projectiles until the whole game gets destroyed. Next we're going to upgrade our meteor which is probably going to be our one and only AoE but it does turn into legendary quality and it's just really strong. It more or less acts like a projectile anyway, so we're just going to pretend it's one. Your initial attack has a 50% chance to chain up to two times, dealing six damage. Okay, it really wants me to give uh, give me the meteor today. 15% chance to conjure a meteor, dealing 40 damage. I don't really know why I wanted away from the trees there. It's really hard being stupid. Mm, these trees appear like nicer, so I'm going to head for those. That was a needles. Your initial attack will fork into four projectiles. So we're already shooting like 30 projectiles if we hit a big cluster of idiots. Next, we're going to increase our attack speed by 30. 5%. I also wouldn't mind some extra experience. Uh, speaking of which, gain 5% more experience. That's going to help us get more upgrades. So I'm hopefully going to keep pulling on that chain because we can, oh, there's a magnet. As I was saying, we're going to get more experience indefinitely. We're going to stop getting worms because that's passive. I'm gonna, just going to get the explosive blobs because that's going to pair really nicely with everything. Idiots have a 15% chance to explode. And then Hailstorm for the projectile, because we're just hoping to stack projectile damage again and again and again. So we need all the projectiles, including Dizzy Balls. Dizzy Balls will just sit there and attack things, kind of like a little uh, helper for me that's going to keep me safe. Our friend Magmus has showed up somewhere, looks like down below. We probably need to go actually start hitting him because he will drop lava balls and uh, well he's dead. That was actually quicker than I thought. We need damage. 2 times 30 AoE radius. That's... I probably should have just dissolved that in hindsight. I mean that will help anyway. Orb amplifier gain 12.5% more experience. We're already getting a lot of bonus experience. Next level. Now I just need to find a good little cluster of trees and sit there hugging it for a while. Perfect. If I sit here, extra 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 experience. Or just a very very lonely existence. Clearly these extra permanent F Upgrades helped a lot because my damage is enough to absolutely obliterate these so far. This is double enemies. Our chain reactions and projectiles are enough to actually, they basically do AoE anyway because they hit everything and then everything explodes. So really we're just hitting everything on the map. We finally got a mini boss coming in. He's running straight toward us. So we're actually going to have to move very slightly amongst the trees. We're just going to turn up their exploding on death thing. They're just going to do more damage when they do explode now. We got a pink upgrade from the mini boss. 2 times 15 crit damage, that's perfect. We already have a 35% crit chance, and eventually all of our projectiles, they're probably going to be doing 100% crit chance. So crit damage is more damage overall. We're also going to gain 22.5% more experience. So when you go through giant clusters like this and pick up uh, magma uh, magnets, we're going to be doing good. Increase your attack speed by 50%. Every time you attack, you have a 15% chance to gain a stack of frenzy, which increases my attack speed by a further 5%. Thousand needles. Your initial attack will fork into six projectiles. Turns out picking up that magnet was a good thing because we're just getting upgrade after upgrade. That's a projectile. Attacks have a 10% chance to conjure a frost bolt. And then I'm going back to my tree hugging ways. We're dropping giant lava balls in places like that. I don't entirely know 
what we have that's doing that, but I'm not really going to question it. There's another mini boss coming in somewhere, so let's go find him and destroy him. The trees are boring. I also don't know chain lightning yet. That's a projectile. Attacks have a 25% chance to spawn a chain of two lightning, dealing 6.5 damage on impact. All of these are probably going to do low damage to start, but once they get upgraded, they'll be ridiculous. And I, we're already having giant orange explosions like that, so how bad can it be? The mini bosses are really playing hard to get today. That's going to be a big explosion of idiots in the lower left. Your initial attack has a 75% chance to chain up to three times, so watch this. We're going to destroy all of those guys and the octopus. And then we're going to get three times sharp splinters. Attacks have a 30% chance to splinter seven times on impact, dealing 3.9 damage. Plus they pierce once. So that's just going to help do uh, crowd control. Like we're just, yeah, obliterating everything already. Okay, we got a few good options here. Very Sharp Splinters actually changes form here, but we want Orb Duplicator. Gain 30% more experience. When picking up an orb, there's a chance that it duplicates. So maybe if we get lucky enough with that, we can get endless orbs. Because when we pick up so many, they'll duplicate, and then more will drop on the ground, and they'll duplicate. It's wishful thinking, but we can all have dreams. Here's another one we want lots of. Increase your damage by 15%. The more we can just stack raw damage, the better we're going to be. Magmus here is already dead. <laughs> we dropped a million meteors on his head, because we attack a lot. And then we're going to get two times that. Increase your attack speed by 80%. And we now have a 25% chance to gain a stack of frenzy. And every 10th attack, we shoot twice. So we shoot 10 shots that also splinter a billion times. So we're already an absolute machine gun. And we're back in the trees. I want the tree gifts again. We spend so much time in the trees, we could get so many free items. Okay, we've already got a mini boss coming in. And we're absolutely destroying everything. We're going to hurt the frame rate real bad today. Hailstorm's getting a level up. We have a 15% chance to conjure a hailstorm of 8 dealing 15 damage each. I'm just kind of wandering around halfway looking for the mini boss, but also just trying not to go crazy. There we go, found him. He was tougher than the last boss boss, so that's something. We got a pink quality upgrade out of him. Two times nose. Tree whisperer. I didn't even know that could go up to level three. Hugging a tree has a chance of releasing a cluster of up to 50 orbs and, ex and up to one arboreal gift. Arboreal gift is one we want, because that's actually items. We're going to get very sharp splinters also. Attacks have a 35% chance to splinter nine times, dealing a lot of damage and piercing twice. I'm just really hoping the arboreal gift uh, spawns a lot because it's level three. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to get it to level three. So let's hope we get lucky. It might be nice at some point to increase my attack range. That way I can kill the idiots that are lobbing ranged attacks at me. Because I would really like to to just hold still and not do much of anything. There's so much experience out there, but I'm waiting for my arboreal gift. It promised it to me, so it's got to give me some eventually. Sometimes my chain reactions just keep going and going. Like the enemies will be exploding for seconds after I fire. Like there's still things in the upper right going on, and I haven't fired in a while. Here comes a mini boss, a very uh, bravely walking straight toward me, considering we're about to do this to him. We basically stop him dead with damage, and then he explodes anyway. Blue quality upgrade, we'll take that. Two times that. Your attacks will pierce enemies four times. Four consecutive pierces will generate a second shot that goes in the same direction, dealing 1.5 damage. Yes. Since there's a magnet over here, let's go ahead and scoop that up. We're probably going to level up. Million needles, this has turned into a pink level. Your initial attack will splinter into six weaker projectiles. They have a 25% chance to fork as well. And then pink quality splinter shower. Attacks have a 35% chance to splinter nine times, dealing 4.35 damage each and piercing twice while releasing a shower of 10 splinters. Uh, also, we're going to increase our uh, damage by 20%, so that should hopefully just affect every number everywhere. Mm, so far, it kind of seems to have. It's hard to tell though, because everything just sort of always dies. Out of all the choices here, do more damage the faster you move. We're not particularly quick, but that will add up to extra damage for us. The helmets have arrived, so they should put up a little bit more resistance to my damage, but not much. Where is it the point where nothing can really get that close to me? Like if I just sit right here perfectly still, things die way out there in the perimeter. How's that? Do we think that's been enough time? Okay, we're going to pick up the magnet. I'm so tempted to get hardened tip, but this is a pink upgrade, so attacks of a 35% chance, blah blah blah. The shower does 15 splinters now. And that's what that rain of stuff is falling from the sky, those little nubs on the ground that are destroying everything. Probably our most powerful attack now, just ask Momza, who just got exploded. And then we get four times whatever this is. Increase your damage by 155%. All damage has a 7.5% chance to deal double damage. Deal an additional 1% damage uh, per point of damage dealt. I'm not entirely sure I understand that, but more damage, good. 
Okay, we were just at 8. We're now at just under 14 damage. So we actually just got a huge increase. Okay, then we don't have a lot of good choices. Deal more damage the faster you move. That definitely didn't add a ton of damage. But it added some, and if we do manage to add speed, that's just all the better for us. Watch us destroy this whole crowd of things. They're just going to explode with all the chain reactions. So even these helmet wearers, we can just destroy. I think it's going to be a while before we find anything that can give us any bit of resistance at all. Also, our initial attack now is a 100% chance to chain up to 4 enemies, dealing 6 damage and an additional 1 damage per chain. So that's just a lot more damage again. So we're absolutely destroying. Oh, here comes a mini boss running straight at us. Seems like a mistake on their part. Got a base level gift, but we get 10% crit damage, which like I said earlier, is simply just more damage. I finally got an arboreal gift, and it's actually a good one. Now we can chain up to 5 enemies and we get an additional 2 damage for each bounce. I'm also going to upgrade Splinter Shower because this thing's getting unbelievable. Attacks have about a 1 in 3 chance to splinter 12 times. Dealing 14.25 damage, piercing twice and releasing a shower of 20 splinters. That's got to start hurting the frame rate once we get even more morons on the map. I think we just got another Arboreal Gift. I wasn't entirely sure I was near the trees. I guess I'll get Slash. It's a free upgrade anyway. Each critical strike has a 20% chance of causing up to 2 slashes. Dealing uh, an extra extra 50% of the damage dealt, so if our damage gets high enough that could actually hit really really hard. We absolutely destroyed that mini boss. And for our trouble we get obliteration, dealing damage enemies of 95 inch HP has a 20% chance to deal 25% of that damage again. So 1 in 5 chance to hit them again, so we're double shotting enemies. Million Needles, your initial attack will fork into 6 projectiles, it will have a 30% chance to fork as well, dealing 1.5 damage from there. Another Arboreal Gift, it even makes a sound now so I won't miss it. I'm gonna get obliteration, dealing damage enemies enemies above 90% HP, we have a 25% chance to deal 40% of that damage again. Seeing as this is sort of a damage run, uh, extra damage stuff like that's really actually going to be good. Ooh, look at this big horde of idiots. That would have been good for the DPS, but I forgot to look. Okay, these arboreal gifts are really starting to show up now. Enemies have a 15% chance to explode on death, uh, dealing 25 AoE damage and dealing 5.7 damage per second is actually pretty high. But that's what those big orange pools are on the ground. I didn't even see Magmus. I destroyed him before I even saw him. Plus 40% crit damage. Absolutely great. I'm going to start upgrading my Hailstorm. Attacks have a 20% chance to conjure a Hailstorm of 12, dealing 35 damage. We definitely won a good variety. This is going to be big DPS. Yeah, that went up to 42,000 because we just wiped it out. Ooh, look at all these leggy guys. They just explode in an instant. Nothing can stand against the great pink evaporator. Okay, looks like Million Needles is getting another upgrade. Your initial attack will fork into eight weaker projectiles. I feel like I don't need to read the rest. There's a lot of forked projectiles going out and do different things. Like there's a giant cluster of enemies. We can just mow them down. I forget about my Dizzy Ball too. We're now going to have two Dizzy Balls that shoot, dealing nine damage. That one's probably not going to be very consequential moving forward, but if it gets upgraded, it might actually actually get amazing. We're fighting a million enemies at once now, so it's 9, 18, whatever damage isn't really going to help that much. We're up to 60,000 kills already, so that feels nice. I'm actually really excited just about this one. All projectiles deal plus one bonus damage. I don't know if that applies to like all my projectiles, because I fire a lot of them, so that would actually really, really increase the DPS. And I think that's one we can just get endlessly. It'll just straight up add damage. Magmus really likes uh, to fight us today, which is really stupid. Tranquilizing Mass. Gain two Tranquilizing Masses, which float around you and stun enemies. Uh, I'd rather have the experience, thank you. We'll turn it into a useful upgrade. This double's perfect. Look at all the trees. Okay, we're getting some of the bigger, bulkier guys, so they'll put up a little bit more resistance, but still not much. The Mortar guys are going to get kind of annoying, so I do need to remember to actually keep moving. That did it at 17,000 HP, and they're dead. There's one times Frostbolt, which is a projectile, so we'll take it. This is a fairly low level one still. I'm gonna go for Crush Ruby here. All damage dealt has an additional 10% chance to crit and does extra crit damage. We really need to start pushing closer to 100% crit rate. That way we can do all that extra damage very easily. We got an Arboreal Gift. I'm actually just gonna sacrifice that because I don't want either of those. We'll just take the experience and hope for better luck. Look at all of our little pigs dropping everywhere though. It's just a rain of destruction from the sky. It absolutely obliterates everything. Like, I can't even see through all of that when it's uh, clustered in there with the enemies. We could also get the uh, Bloberang, which is a projectile, but I'm just going to add damage to all my projectiles. We're firing like a million of them a second, so it adds like a million damage per second. Even against these big helmeted guys, we're just raining the pigs on them and they melt. Uh, there was a mini boss before I could even say there was one. He popped. And we're going to get 20% crit damage. Very good. That one's up to 309%, so we're doing triple damage on crits. DPS is up to 69,000. 
Bell's in there for a moment. I just got an Arboreal Gift and we popped the mini boss so I get two upgrades. All damage dealt has an additional 17.5% crit chance and does 190% damage so that gave us a boost to damage. Hopefully this will also do so. Well, we did get 3 times 20% attack speed, so 60% increase to attack speed is absolutely ridiculous at this point. And there's another mini boss coming in. Uh, GPS was up to, I think, 86,000 if I saw that correctly. And this guy is dead. 5% attack speed seems a little pale in comparison to the last one, but it's still more attack speed. And there's another mini boss. So we'll go ahead and destroy him with my trillion bullets per second. And then we got 3 times chain lightning strike. Attacks have a 25% chance to spawn a chain of 5 lightning, dealing 16.25 damage, and they have a 50% chance to spark 2 additional lightning, dealing 25 damage. Basically, there's a lot of lightning we didn't have before which means a lot of damage we didn't have before. And then we'll test out all this damage on Moomsa, who just evaporates. And with that, we get a 20% damage multiplier. So that's a lot more damage too. Now I think I can just focus on upgrading raw damage. Because we're up to, there's almost 100,000 DPS. Can we push through that barrier? Yep, 102,000 DPS. And that's so far. Let's also see if we can get Frostbolt upgraded far. Attacks have a 15% chance to conjure, slows enemies by 30%, deals 14 damage. I guess slowing enemies maybe wouldn't hurt either. I don't know if I really care either way. They tend to just pop where they stand. These bigger helmeted guys do last for a second, but also not really. This is a really satisfying build in itself. I just kind of wander around and we fire all these. I don't even know what they are. There's a bunch of white things flying around. There's big ones, there's little ones. And the bosses showed up right with a giant pile of little helmet wearing morons. The boss is in here somewhere, I think. Oh. I think we ran him over. There's a nerd, another 30% crit damage. And then we're gonna get exponential chain. Uh, now th they can chain up to six times, dealing eight damage and an additional three damage for each consecutive chain. So the farther that chain goes, the more things uh, it hurts or the more damage it does. I also already have a 290% attack speed multiplier. So that's also why we're firing so many projectiles of all kinds. Each critical strike has a 40% chance of causing up to three slashes on nearby enemies, dealing 75% damage. This is getting satisfying. There was 120,000 DPS and we could just keep marching through all of these morons. Okay, here's a mini boss. This is a good damage test. It popped in an instant, so our damage is still okay. And there's a 20% damage increase. Base damage is up to about 18 now, so that gets multiplied three times for all the crits, and we do a lot of crits because we have a 52% crit chance. There's a little leggy mini boss. We destroyed him. 5% AoE radius. We'll definitely take the 8,000 experience instead. I mean, I guess we could take a 20% chance to conjure a meteoroid that deals 130 damage. It's technically AoE, but there's a lot of meteors that fall from the sky. And that is really good for bosses. So if we can actually see Mumza for a sec, we'll drop a bunch of meteors on its head. Okay, Mumza's on the other side, so go meteors, go. Yeah, that melts bosses. There is Implode, which could be interesting. Nah, we'll dissolve that. That's not a projectile. We only want projectiles. There's an Octopus mini boss. He's dead. That was 30,000 HP, basically in a moment. Oh, and an extra 15% attack speed. That's not really going to be that noticeable, but it is going to add a lot of damage. Okay, this is a good test because these are the helmet wearing guys that are really, really tough. We're also going to get Endless Hailstorm. Attacks have a 1 in 5 chance to conjure a Hailstorm of 15, dealing 42 damage each. And each of those has a 25% chance to release one huge hail, which releases its own hailstorm when it lands. So yeah, it's a chain reaction in itself. Time for another boss fight. Let's see if we can actually see this one before it dies. Oh, never mind. I think we popped it. We also got two times a million needles, so that's going to get even stronger. After defeating a mini boss right at the start of the next level, we got 45% AoE radius. I'm actually going to keep that just because like my meteor, I think, is our only AoE, but that's going to be big. Actually, so are the exploding morons, so we're turning the floor into lava on these guys. Frost Nova can also get a level up. It's still just in blue form, which is very sad. It needs some help. We might get pretty high DPS here. We've got 123,000. I think the only thing holding our DPS back is the amount of enemies. Well, there's 170, 221,000. Okay, it's getting better than I thought. 230,000, 318. Now we're getting to the stronger enemies, non-stop giant helmet guys. Oh, plus a mini boss. We just do so much damage to bosses though, they just they just disappear. There's an extra 20% attack speed too. Okay, there's a mini boss. There's 60,000 HP gone. And my initial attack will now appear six times. And it splinters and does a thing for eight damage also. Uh, also, here's the, uh, the boss boss. That well, lasted longer than I thought. We get four times regurgitated goo, which is actually really good. 
uh, we didn't even have a Gurgitated Goo, and now we do, and our AoE is so big that that just isn't really gonna help. This looks like a nice small island, so uh, DPS might go bananas here. The frame rate might also just completely implode. And we're also getting lots of very basic level morons too. I saw the frame rate drop to, I think, 70 there. Mm, maybe the island's not big enough for enough idiots. Like, they're spawning like off the island. Okay, the frame rate got down to 3 there. 3 frames per second. All projectiles deal plus 3 bonus damage. My base damage is at 19 now, and we're firing like a million shots per second. Yeah, the game's definitely not loving this island. And there's just so many things to pop at all times. Uh, the frame rates were teeny dropping. We killed two mini bosses. I didn't even see one of them. Uh, Hailstorm's going to be upgraded. We have a 1 in 4 chance to conjure 20 hailstorms, each dealing 50 damage. Each storm has a 40% chance to release two huge hailstones. They can also release hailstorms themselves. And we got Blowberang. We didn't even have this one before, so now we're also throwing boomerangs out for just another type of damage. We also could take a 10% AoE radius. I'd rather just take the experience because we get upgrades like this. Salvage Energy. Upon finishing a combo streak, an explosion of energy erupts from within, dealing damage equal to 50 percent of the combo streak. That's also upgradable a lot of times. I never noticed that before, but our combo streak currently is up to 5,000, so uh, when that ends, it will deal 2,500 damage to everything around it. It ended, but that's routinely going to blast and eliminate everything. Magnus is also here somewhere. Uh, we'll see if we can manage to see him. There he is, and he's dead. Oh, look at that, another 20% attack speed. We just defeated Moomsa on this island. We get next to 40% crit chance. We have a 92% crit chance, so it's pretty close to every shot's a crit. I just had a fun idea how I might be able to get my DPS up. I might have just screwed it up. I was going to run away from the enemies for as long as I could, that way as many of them as possible will bunch up into a giant group. Then I'll walk straight into them and hopefully we'll go in there and destroy them all, carrying a very high. There were 664,000 DPS, eh, 900,000, we hit almost a million. See, nice stupid ideas do sometimes work. Our crit damage is at 400% by the way, that's why we're seeing all the red text. Yeah, I saw 1.5 million DPS there when uh, my uh, combo thing went off. So I think when that goes off and hits the enemies, obviously it goes up. There was 980,000 without the combo thing. Still haven't got the frame rate lower than 3. I was hoping for a total crash by now. Okay, it was 11 million DPS. I don't know if I got that in time, but my combo thing went off. Obviously it hits a bunch of enemies for like 10,000 damage, so it goes and DPS goes bananas because of it. After killing the boss, we got cracked ruby times 4. So we have an additional 40% chance to crit, so that puts us pretty close to actually 100% crit chance with an extra 25% damage. And adding a stack of bleed that causes 50% of that damage again over 3 seconds. Which is going to be a lot of damage because we're doing a lot of crits and just a lot of different things all together. We're getting a lot of these little clusters of things showing up, so I'm routinely hitting millions of DPS. There is one point one two because of all these little very poppable guys there is 1.14 again there's four point something million dps another two to exponential chain that's actually the highest level thing at this point at level 11 it chains up to 12 enemies doing 13 damage and additional three for each consecutive chain then multiply all that by four times because of the crits but i'm kind of just stuck in an endless farming loop now uh it's so hard to level up that it takes forever and we're just destroying enemies like this just endlessly there's 6.6 .6 million dps it is very satisfying but the upgrades are so slow now that it's hard to justify keep going. And I'm obviously very tired because I can't even talk at this point. But there's all my stats if you want to see them. 23.5 damage, 574% critical strike damage, you get the idea. Lots of good stuff. I think the hardest part of all is going to be finding something that can actually kill me. I guess if I hold still I can just get mortar striked into oblivion. I also hope the mini boss might be able to get to me but he couldn't. So I'm hopefully going to get mortar striked a few good times here and that will be the end of me just like that.